Hey there, how are you doing today? I'm Rodrigo and I'm here for Textualize and in this third video of our series of building a stopwatch app I'm going to show you what, a, what an action is, what does that mean for Textual and how you can trigger actions with key bindings. Alright, so at this point we already have a very very simple app with a header and a footer and if you well, if this is not working for you, then you should go back and, and make sure that everything is working because we're going to keep on building the knowledge we already have. So what I want to show you now, like I said, is what actions are and how to bind actions to keys so that pressing a key does something in your app. So applications, notice that your stopwatch app inherits from app. The app class defines a, a lot of attributes that will let you interact with your application. Okay, so for example, there's an attribute that's called dark. And this attribute controls whether or not your application is in dark mode. For example, here in Compose, not only am I or, yeah, other than yielding the widgets, I could also say something like um, self.dark equals false. So now I'm setting, now I'm setting dark mode to false. And this means that if I run my app, it's in light mode, which might be disturbing for some of you. It's a bit disturbing for me. So I'm going to interrupt this and I'm going to comment this out. But you, what you can see here is that the dark attribute controls one aspect of the application. In this case, the color scheme. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a key binding so that when the user presses D, we can toggle dark mode off and on. So that's what we're going to do. And in order to do this, the very first thing we need to do is we need to define a method that does this toggling behavior. So I'm going to call this toggle dark mode. This is the name of the method. It's going to take no arguments other than self because it's a method. And I'm going to write so similar to what I had here. So let me get this over here. But instead of just setting it to a specific value, I'm going to toggle it. So dark is a boolean value and not dark is going to be the opposite value. So calling this method repeatedly will allow me to toggle the dark mode. For example, let me show you. I'm inside compose. If I do nothing, okay, so if I do nothing, my app is in dark mode. I'm going to interrupt. Now if I call self.toggle dark mode, now it's going to be in light mode. And if I call it again, it's going to be in dark mode again because I toggled it twice, right? So that's the idea. Now, what I don't want is to call this inside compose. What I want is for the user to be able to do this by pressing the key D for dark. So how do we do this? How do we tell textual that the key dark, sorry, not the key dark, the key D should call this method? We do this through bindings. So a binding can be something as simple as a triple that connects a key to a method. And I'm going to show you how you do that. So what you're going to do is inside your app, you're going to take a look at the, I meant to write this in caps lock, at the bindings class variable. And this class variable is supposed to be a list of all of your key bindings. And how do you create a key binding, which is the thing we really want to do now? Well, like I said, it can be as simple as a triple. So we're going to have a triple here and it's going to consist of three things. It's going to consist of a key. I no longer want caps lock. It's going to consist of a key, an action name, and a description. So this is what makes up a key binding. And for the key, we already said we want the D. And the description, it's just a readable description of what's the key binding is supposed to do. And in this case, let's just write toggle dark mode. So what's left is the action name. Now the action name is important. It should be a valid path, uh, Python name. So it shouldn't, it shouldn't start with a number, for example, and it shouldn't have spaces and weird uh, white space characters. And what's more, the action name should match the name of your method. So my method is toggle dark mode. This is the method I want to run 
whenever I press D. So that should be the action name. All right. So we're very close to finishing this off. Let me just show you that this doesn't work yet. So I'm pressing, where's the, so this is the shortcut I want. I'm pressing D, nothing is happening. If I press D over here, nothing is happening because we're missing something very important. And this is a mistake I make often. And I'm stressing this so that you don't make this mistake. The action name should match the name of the method, but the name of the method should be prefixed with action underscore. So this prefix is very important because this is what tells Textual that this is an action method. So this is an action method. It's, it's an action method because it starts, its name starts with action and it's associated with the action called toggle dark move. So through this naming convention of action underscore and then action name, Textual does the connection between this key binding and this method. So now if I save this, I can go ahead and I can run my stopwatch app and you'll see that pressing D now toggles the dark mode. And you can either press it in your app or you can just go to the footer where the key binding is showing and notice that this is the description you wrote and you can also click it there. So this is, there's two ways of triggering your key binding. So this was what I wanted to show you in this video. It's very important. Never forget the action underscore in your action methods. And yeah, I just hope it made sense. If there's an issue in your app, if you can't get this to work, maybe check the written tutorial, see if, compare your code with the code in the written tutorial, see if it's, if it's, it's the same or if you have something different and just join us in our Discord server to chat with us. There's a bunch of people there that already know a lot about textual, textual, sorry, and they can help you out. So, yep, yeah, that's it for now and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.